So um, there's just an extraordinary array of people um, who take Shakespeare to East Africa or um, East Africans who, who um, engage with Shakespeare. So there's you know, Richard Francis Burton and Teddy Roosevelt and Karen Blixen, um, Che Guevara, uh, Julius Nyerere. Uh, the list is, is, is pretty endless. Um, part of this has to do with the extraordinary um, history of, of uh, Anglo African engagement and of, and of the, the revolutionary struggles that, that gained East Africa independence from, from colonial um, rule. Uh, but a lot of these are also intensely personal engagements. Um, you know, I think uh, one gets that sense from both the fact that Che Guevara read Shakespeare when locked in a room uh, with his wife uh, above the Cuban embassy in Dar es Salaam. And um, Nyerere may have first fallen in love with Shakespeare in a cave that he found near his boarding school where he used to retire um, from the other boys um, in order to read and, and not be seen as overly bookish. So it's both um, a deeply political um, story but also a very, a very personal story about the, the inner lives um, and, um, and thoughts of, of a, a lot of people who are important in East Africa and in the world.